We're excited to announce that JotForm is officially on Salesforce App Exchange. So let me show you how to get started with JotForm for Salesforce. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, in order to get JotForm from the App Exchange, first you want to make sure that you are logged in. So I'm currently logged in. Now, the first thing we want to do is go to the top left hand corner. We see these nine dots right here. This is going to be the app launcher. So if we click on this, all we need to do is do a quick search for JotForm. And right here we see apps. So let's go ahead and choose JotForm. And on this screen, you're going to see two different options. You're going to see start for free or log into an existing account. So if you are utilizing Salesforce and you already have a JotForm account, you're going to go ahead and log in with an existing account. But if you use Salesforce and you don't already have a form builder or JotForm, you can start JotForm for free. Now for this example, we'll do login with an existing account and you'll see this pop up to allow Salesforce to access your JotForm account. And of course we want to allow. Now, if you are a system administrator for your organization, you'll want to assign the JotForm app user permissions to the relevant users. This can be done under the setup tab by going to administration, then clicking on users, then permission sets. But once you are officially logged into your account, it is really simple to create a very simple form. So for this example, you can see that this now looks just like your JotForm dashboard. So the top left hand corner, we're going to create a new form and you can see very familiar. We have start from scratch. We have something new creating a Salesforce form using a template, importing a form or creating a signable document. So for this example, let's go ahead and create a Salesforce form. Next, we need to choose which Salesforce objects we'd like to use. I'm going to use account. And now we get to choose which fields from the account object we would like to be as fields in our JotForm form. So let's see, I want the billing street, city, state, zip. Let's see if there's anything more. We want their account phone number, maybe their website. And anything else that you would like to add, you can definitely do here. But let's go ahead and create that form. And here you can see we have that account name, the billing address, phone number, and a website. Now we can even come into each one of these. We can choose the properties and we can also make these required. And we can see right down here that this field is connected to an account object and it tells us everything about this field. So let's go ahead and give this a test. I'm going to go to the top right hand corner. We're going to choose preview form. Then I'm going to do a quick fill form. Then we'll scroll down. Let's go ahead and submit. Perfect. Now, one great thing about this is let's go ahead and jump out of preview form. All of that data is not only going to be in your Salesforce account, but it's also going to be kept in your JotForm tables. So the top left hand corner, let's scroll up to the very top. We'll choose form builder, jump over to tables. And here we see her information stored perfectly. Now, because she's also in our account tab up at the top next to my JotForm tab, we have our accounts. And right down here is Melinda perfectly. And we can click on her to get more information. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any other questions about how to grab JotForm from the Salesforce app exchange, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell. So you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.